Okay, so I am now ready to move on to my style number two. I'm actually not going to change my HTML at all. I'm just going to mess with my CSS. So I'm going to grab a copy of this and just take it into my second style sheet file. And I'm going to keep um, the background colors, but get rid of everything else and then restyle those. So the colors um, aren't going to change except for one actually is because I'm cheating to, to make it look like um, something is fitting perfectly. But let me get rid of these guys for now. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and change my connection over here to be style 2. So we're back to um, let me see this. We're back to this. So just the colors and no positioning. Okay. So I'm going to scroll down in my document to second appearance here. And these guys are sitting. It doesn't make any notes about scrolling, so I'm going to assume that's not an issue. Um, let's again start messing with the content. So um, the content width here is still not taking up the whole page, so let's put that at 80% again. Okay, so width is 80%. And I want it to center, so we'll put the margin auto back in. I guess I shouldn't have deleted this stuff until I checked if I needed it. And I am noticing that I'm still having some floating going on here, and it looks like um, this is guys being extended. So I actually should have just left this totally alone. I'm full for, for deleting it, so let's put it floating back in, just like we had before. Okay, let's mess with one and two. So one, I'm going to float left, and I'm going to give it the width of 45%. So this time, um, these guys are actually, if you look at the text, they're about the same width, so I'm going to sort of get them close to 100, but not quite, quite. and I'm going to take this same stuff and put it in with 2, except float it to the right instead. So here is what we've got so far. Now you'll notice I've got blue here, um, which I don't actually want this time. I want it to look like this guy's taking up the whole spot. So I'm going to make my content div be pink. Um, so I'm just stealing the color off of this, and I'm going to make that my content div color as well. And when I look here, now it's taking up the whole page, so that sort of fits. Okay, so now i got to mess with the header and the footer. Um, this time there's no note about scrolling, and the whole thing should just go together. So I don't have to worry about um, fixed positioning. But I do kind of want to mess with um, the top of this guy. See how it's right up against the top? So let's go into the header here. All right. And I am going to... First, make it be um, the same width as the content div because uh, it's uh, the same amount across the page. If you look here, they're lined up nice and neat on the side. Same thing's going to be true of the footer. So let's make the width 80% of the page. Okay. Um, the height is about twice as deep as this first one was. So I'm going to guess that that's 200 pixels. Okay. Oops. And then I do want to mess with the top of the thing so that it is um, up against the edge of the screen, which you see right now it is not. Oh, let me add my margin auto in here so this guy floats in the middle. All right. So this guy is, needs to get cinched up. So I need to change my position from static, which it is right now, to relative. I don't want it to be pulled out of the flow of the page, but I do want to be able to control the top of it. Um, I'm going to guess, I can make negative uh, tops, so I'm going to try 20 picks here and adjust it if that doesn't work, so let's see. Yeah, that cinched it right up to the top, so that's great. Okay, um, let's see, do I have this gap in this one? I do, so I'm going to leave that alone. So the last thing I need to handle is the footer. Okay, so this guy, let's find the footer, where are you? Okay, so that is taking up the same amount of space, so let's make the width 80% on that guy, so it's 80% of the page. Let's make the height 200 picks because it's the same size as the header. And let's, what else is there? What am I missing? Well, it's not in the center yet, so margin auto. Okay, let's see. Bam. That looks pretty decent. Let me just check one thing. Is there a gap? There is a gap right here, so I need to add something in to make that gap happen. Let's see. I'm going to put it on my... Let's try to make a margin top of this guy. Let's try that. 
try to see what that looks like. Yeah, now I got a nice little gap here and a little gap here, just like the sample page. So that's it. Now you make one.